Yeah. What, what caused you to come to this rally? Because uh, we believe that killing babies is wrong and it's murder. And we believe that we need to stand up and sta say something about it. It's time. A lot of people don't know that approximately 30 to 50,000 abortions are committed in the province of Ontario, which means that at least 30 to 50 million dollars of our taxpayer money is going towards a medically unnecessary and harmful procedure. Pregnancy is not a disease. It's not an injury and it's certainly not an illness. Which begs the question, why? Why are millions of dollars going towards an elective procedure when genuine areas of health care, of life-saving, medically necessary health care are being ignored? The time is now to tell our provincial leaders that we will not put up with abortion, let alone pay for it. And guess what? <laughs> the majority of Ontarians agree with us. A recent abacus data poll showed that over 61% of Ontarians oppose taxpayer-funded abortions. So my question is, where are all the politicians? The majority of, of Ontarians agree with agree with us, yet we are right here in the backyard of our, our, of our provincial legislators, and I don't see one MPP here today. As a choice that only harms the woman and takes the life of her unborn child, abortion should not be considered a necessity, should not be funded by our government, and should not be paid for through our money. So today I'm here to represent the next generation of taxpayers. I'm standing here to fight for the choice to decide where my tax dollars go. I'm here to say enough is enough. I do not want my money to go to towards destroying one third of my generation. I do not want my money to go towards helping send a message of worthlessness to the two thirds that escape. I do not want my money to go towards destroying any lives. If the abortion issue is really about choice, I want the right to choose whether or not my tax dollars go towards funding the destruction and devaluing of human life. Despite circumstances of conception, a person's financial, emotional, or marital state, it is a travesty that our government funds acts of homicide. We are a society that is waging war against children, and by extension, all life in general. Everyone and I mean everyone, is called to be pro-life in different ways. Your presence here today is a sign of a growing movement that will no longer stay silent on the issue. You came out today because you oppose the status quo. You came out today because you want to defund a procedure that kills a human life, harms a woman, and is a financial drain on our health care system. We are here today because this injustice is finally out in the open and we want the, the debate and we want it now. Speaking of my boss Jim Hughes, he went around and he counted the numbers in the crowd and the number is 2300, so thank you. We need all hands on deck to push this initiative forward. Call your MPP. Make an appointment with them, sit down with them, give them the facts and tell them, not from my wallet. Take our signs, go in front of your legislative offices in your own cities, and don't stop until abortions are defunded. We can win this battle. It just takes all of you to continue to do what you do and encourage others to get out of their comfort zones and join you. It's time for all of us to be bold and especially courageous and get the word out there that we will no longer comply with the tyranny of forced taxpayer funding abortions. Thank you all of you, thank, thank you to, for all of you who have joined us. I hope this rally has lit a spark in you to continue to fight for this battle and not give up until we reach our victory.